These new cosmetics are pretty awesome. And there's loads of ways that you can use all of these new cosmetics and loadouts you might already have or loadouts you might want to have. So today, I'm going to show you some cool combos of cosmetics that you can use with your loadouts that include some of the new 2020 summer cosmetics. If you do go on to enjoy this video, then please make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We've just passed 90, which is insane. So we're on the final stretch and we're aiming for that big 100. So if you're not already subbed, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. This video is also sponsored by quicksell.store. They are an online trading website with a huge inventory of stuff that you can trade for, which is really nice. And sometimes you can even buy stuff in that site for around buy orders, which is quite rare and you don't normally get to do that. There is also a giveaways tab where every single week they give away an unusual. So definitely make sure you check that out. And the site is fully automatic. So you don't have to be trading with actual people and you can trade at pretty much any time of the day that you would like to. The link will be in the description. Definitely go and check them out. They are a really awesome site. I've used them before in the past. Definitely recommended. So anyway, let's have a look at some of the loadouts that include the 2020 Summer Cosmetics. Okay, so this scout one I actually think is pretty cool. It has the new California cap, the Aloha apparel, and because it's 2020 and you need to be wearing masks pretty much everywhere you go, I've put the fuel injector on instead of anything else summary. Because honestly, this is sort of what the summer has looked like this year, which I, I mean, hopefully next summer won't be like this. And if we can stop it by just, you know, wearing masks where we go places for a little while, you know what? It wouldn't be that bad of a sacrifice. I mean, for some reason, I actually quite like this loadout. Even if you took the fuel injector off it and put on a different cosmetic, for example, the new Tools of the Tourist back item for the Scout, it would work perfectly for this loadout, and it is the perfect summer loadout for the Scout. Now, you could have also used his new polo shirt, but I feel like the Aloha apparel is definitely more of like a very summery shirt, whereas the polo is just a polo shirt. Both of the cosmetics are good, but I think if you're just going for like a pure summer scout loadout, the Aloha apparel is a slightly better t-shirt. The next loadout is for the medic, and that is including the brand new flatliner, which is actually an awesome cosmetic. Like, I didn't think it was going to be that good, but when I saw it, it was animated and stuff. Oh my god, it is amazing. And honestly, so many people have made so many amazing loadouts with this thing. This is only one of the many that already exist. So this one includes the Brain Bowl and the Daz Metal Meat Casing. Don't know if I said that right. Alongside the Flatliner. And I honestly really, really like this combination. It looks quite like robotic almost. I, I don't know if that's kind of the right way to say it or like to look at it. But it looks quite robot-y or like armor type. I don't know. I just love how the flatliner looks with the helmet and then obviously he's got the big metal chest plate on. So yeah, it's like some pretty cool looking armor, I guess. Like I said, there's so many really cool loadouts including the flatliner in it. This is just probably one of my favorites. Next up, we have another scout loadout, which I got sent on my Discord server. Now, this one is supposed to be sort of like a B-Tech version of Max from Sam and Max. So, this loadout has the new Loaf Loafers, the Max's severed head, and then I think that's the Dead of Night that he's wearing too. But if you were going to try and be Max from Sam and Max, then there's a bunch of scout shirts that would work as well. I don't know, like the Thermal Tracker or something like that. So, it's more white on it, and you don't have to paint it, and it's less expensive. Is it just me, or do the Loaf Loafers actually look really weirdly comfy? when they're painted white. They look really cushiony and just like massive slippers with massive socks. Is that weird? Am I, am I being really, really weird here? But when they don't have all like the green dots all over them and they're painted a different color, they look weirdly comfy. Anyway, I know a whole bunch of people are making loadouts with these things as well. And yeah, I thought I'd show you like a slightly different type of loadout than you might have expected with these things. So that is why I'm showing this one instead of any others you might have expected with the loaf loafers in them. Again, another really nice cosmetic that's been added. I don't think I hate any of the cosmetics that are brand new. This next NG loadout honestly looks like my worst nightmare. It is all mini sentries. The only thing that would make this scarier for me is if the NG's head was also a mini sentry and if any of the sentries on this loadout could also shoot at you. He has a mini sentry in his hat. He has a mini sentry in his shoulder. I'm surprised he doesn't have a t-shirt with a mini sentry on it. Okay, so this loadout includes the head defense, which is the brand new item. It has the aim assistant, which is the mini sentry on his shoulder. And he's also wearing the iron lung. I think these cosmetics work really well together. Maybe, like I said, a t-shirt with a mini sentry might be quite funny. But for the general theme of this loadout, you know, the iron lung looks way better. It's all metallic. It's all like robot-y and 
I don't know. I like it, even though, you know, mini sentries on a loadout. Don't really like mini sentries, but you know what? The loadout's cool. The cosmetics are really nice and they work well together. And this final loadout is probably one of my favorites. It uses the Firefighter, which is the brand new cosmetic for the Pyro. It has the Sengoku Scorcher and the Specialize. The Pyro looks like a Street Fighter character and it is awesome. I'm fairly sure that this is the most popular loadout to ever come from this update out of all of the other cosmetics that are in the game right now out of all of the other possible loadouts you can make right now i feel like this street fighter loadout or a street fighter loadout similar to this one are like the most popular ones you can find it's also probably one of the coolest pyro cosmetics we've had in quite a long time and it's actually changed up quite a lot of the loadouts considering what they used to be it used to always have the last breath on it and then like some kind of hat it you know what the hat's changed quite a lot but the last breath was fairly consistent between most pyros i saw so having just a hairstyle and a shirt and then the eye effects as well is quite nice, quite refreshing, and it looks pretty nice. Honestly, I have seen so many loadouts with the firefighter in them, and I don't think I've seen a single one that doesn't look good. Anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure that you go and leave the video a like down below and also subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Like I said at the start, the brand new goal is 100,000 subscribers. That is the next 10,000 milestone we will hit, which is just mental to think about. Like, what have I done to deserve that? Also, make sure you go and check out quicksell.store in the description below if you want to do any of your trading or anything like that. It's a really good site. And... I think that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Thank you all so much for watching once again, and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.